the Lord requires us to have a pure heart and a renewed spirit in Him. Welcome, brethren and friends, to episode 4 of Spiritual Upliftment. Our focus today is about having a clean heart. How can one have a clean heart? How can I maintain a clean heart? Is it even possible to sustain a clean, honest, and pure heart in this evil world? We first must remember as believers that we are strangers passing through this world. Dwelling in a place for a period of time does affect our thoughts, our spirit, our soul, the choices we make, and ultimately, it affects our actions. But we can be assured that if we trust in Jehovah with all our hearts and lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge him and he yes he will direct our path he will guide us through this evil land romans 12 verse 2 says be not conformed to this world do not get attached to the things of this world the lifestyle of this world but be changed, be renewed, be transformed by the renewing of our mind. All we do is triggered by what we see and then process in our mind. So brethren and friends, it is our duty as believers to guard our mind. It is more precious than riches it determines our destiny our eternity yes our eternity that is what our focus in life should be about while we live and have our being and exist in this world we must focus on our eternity we must remember that the desires of the flesh is always against the spirit and so it is critical for us to feed our mind with spiritual things godly things we need to understand that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick who can understand it but my brethren and friends I know someone who can God can he understands our heart he's the creator of it he can sustain righteousness in us but we need to surrender our heart and mind to him Proverbs 4 verse 23 reminds us to keep our heart with all vigilance for from it flow the springs of life. My question to us is what type of spring are we producing today? Are you producing today? Is it a spring of lawlessness or a spring of of righteousness Matthew 5 verse 8 gives us hope knowing that blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God to see God to fully experience the glory of God we must be covered by the blood of Yeshua Amashiach Jesus Christ the Lord Yeshua saved us not by our works. There is nothing that we could have done by ourselves. 
but when we are immersed in baptism in the name of Yeshua Amashiach and we take on hallelujah the presence and the spirit of God by faith through the mercy of Yeshua through the mercy of the Almighty God we are now renewed by the Holy Spirit so I implore you today to flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and mind in Yeshua Amashiach, the Lamb of God. I close with these questions that we started out with. How can one have a clean heart? The answer today is by the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Holy Spirit. How can I maintain a clean heart? By being vigilant in prayer, in fasting, and reading the word of God. Is it even possible to sustain a clean, honest, and pure heart in this evil world? My brethren and friend, my answer to you today is yes by presenting our entire life our entire being as a living sacrifice to Jehovah the Almighty God bless you